Hello, kindergarten. It's good to see you again. I hope you're all feeling safe and secure at home and you're having time to play outside and a lot of time with your family. We miss seeing each other at school, I know, but this is for our benefit and hopefully in the fall, we'll be ready to go back to school and we'll be in first grade. Can you believe it? You'll be in first grade. Well, I'm gonna read you another story today. Today is the story called Wilfred Gordon McDonald Partridge. Ooh, how would you like to have to write that name on your paper for at school? It's written by a person named Mem Fox, and it's illustrated, that means the person that drew the pictures, by Julie Beavis. So if you look carefully at the cover, we have some of the characters of our story. We have this little boy, and we have an older woman. The title is someone's name. So who do you think has the name Wilfred Gordon McDonald Partridge? Do you think it'll be this little boy? Or do you think it'll be that lady? Oh, I think you guessed right. I think it's the little boy too, because Wilfred doesn't sound like a woman's name. It sounds like a little boy's name. I wonder how they know each other. Let's read this story and find out. If we open it to this page, we'll see the back of the ladies' chair. Oh, and look at all those chairs. And they all look like they might have older people in them. Let's think, where might you find a place that has a lot of older people all living in the same place? What do you think? Do you know a place like that? Well, sometimes they're called retirement centers, or maybe they're called senior living. So I wonder what that has to do with Wilfred. Let's find out. A little closer so you can see the words. Here we go. Here we are. There was once a small boy called Wilfred Gordon McDonald Partridge. And what's more, he wasn't very old either. His house was right next door to an old person's home. And he knew all the people that lived there. He liked Mrs. Jordan, who played the organ. He listened to Mr. Hosky, who told him scary stories. He played with Mr. Tippett, who was crazy about cricket. He ran errands for Miss Mitchell, who walked with a wooden stick. And he admired Mr. Drysdale, who had a voice like a giant. But his favorite person of all was Miss Nancy Allison Delacourt Cooper, because she had four names just as he did. He called her Miss Nancy, and he told her all his secrets. One day, Wilfred Gordon heard his mother and father talking about Miss Nancy. Poor old thing, said his mother. Why is she a poor old thing, asked Wilfred Gordon. Because she's lost her memory, said his father. It isn't surprising, said his mother. After all, she is 96. What's a memory? Asked Wilfred Gordon. He was always asking questions. It is something you remember, said his father. But Wilfred Gordon wanted to know more, so he called on Mrs. Jordan, who played the organ. What's a memory? He asked. Ooh, something warm, my child, something warm. 
He called on Mr. Hoskins, who told him the scary stories. What's a memory? He asked. Something from long ago, me lad. Something from long ago. He called on Mr. Tippet, who was crazy about cricket. What's a memory? He asked. Something that makes you cry, my boy. Something that makes you cry. He called on Miss Mitchell, who walked with a wooden stick. What's a memory? He asked. Something that makes you laugh, my darling. Something that makes you laugh. He called on Mr. Drysdale, who had a voice like a giant. What's a memory? He asked. Something as precious as gold, young man. Something as precious as gold. So Wilfred Gordon went home again to look for memories for Miss Nancy because she had lost her own. He looked for the shoebox of shells he had found long ago last summer and put them gently in a basket. He found a puppet on strings, which always made everyone laugh, and he put that in the basket too. He remembered with sadness the medal which his grandfather had given him, and he placed it gently next to the shells. Next, he found his football, which was as precious as gold. And last of all, on his way to Miss Nancy's, he went into the hen's house and took a fresh warm egg from under a hen. Then Wilfred Gordon called on Miss Nancy and gave her each thing one by one. What a dear, strange child to bring me all these wonderful things, thought Miss Nancy. Then she started to remember. Ooh, I wonder what she remembered. Let's see. She held the warm egg and told Wilfred Gordon about the tiny speckled blue eggs she had once found in a bird's nest in her aunt's garden. She put the shell to her ear and remembered going to the beach by tram long ago and how hot she felt in her button-up boots. These are button-up boots. They come very tall. And this is Miss Nancy as a little girl. She touched the metal and sadly thought about her big brother she loved, who had gone to war and never returned. And she smiled at the puppet on strings and remembered the one she had shown to her sister and how she had laughed with a mouth full of porridge. She bounced the football to Wilfred Gordon and remembered the day she had met him and all the secrets they had told. And the two of them smiled and smiled because Miss Nancy's memory had been found again by a small boy who wasn't very old either. The end. That's the story of how Wilfred Gordon McDonald Partridge helped Miss Nancy find her lost memory. Hope you enjoyed that story, boys and girls, and I hope you continue to have a nice time at home, and hope to see you again sometime. Bye-bye.